That's great. We'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh, we've got someone else over yep. here. Who's that? Yep. I can't hey. tell yet. Buster Dale. All oh, right. Hello. I believe. Or oh, Ruth could be. You know yeah. That. All right. Well, watch out. Watch so out. So we've been like talking about about sin for like three weeks for some, <coughs> is some reason. Is this the third week? Yeah, this is the third week. So Genesis 4, 7. That's me. What, what does that say? Genesis 4, 7. If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door and its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. That's Cain and Abel. Right, right. If you do well, won't you we'll, also be accepted? be accepted? But if not, sin is crouching at the door. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Sin is crouching at the door. It desires to have you. Right. Or some translations say eager to control you. Ooh. It's eager to control you. Now that the CEB, contemporary English, it wants to destroy you. Yikes. But you must master it. Or um, Amplified says to overpower you. Sin lies at the door to overpower you. Mm. You know, but you must master it. So you have to be its master, otherwise it will be your master. Yeah, you either be rule. Oh, we talked about that. Yeah, well, either we're rule or be rule. Again. Hey, that's right. Yeah, you you need to, and it's a terrible master. Oh, it's horrible. Puts a noose around your neck. Yeah, it, it's a terrible master. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. That's right. It's uh, it's bad. It saps your strength. It does it puts a heavy yoke on you? It oh. makes you miserable. Gives depression. you hangovers like. Like, it's, like a sin hangover. I'm not talking about like an alcohol hangover, although that might be involved. But it gives you like a weighty, heavy hangover after. Its yeah. pleasure is fleeting. It, that's right. It's all <coughs> smoke and mirrors illusion. That's right. That's why the Bible talks about the deceitfulness of sin. Mm. Because it's deceitful. It's yeah. like, oh, that looks good. Yeah, well, here we are again for the third straight week just getting on Facebook Live it. and saying... Run. It might look good. It's not. <laughs> That's it's all. That's all I want to say. Because you. it was a lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a it's a lie. It looks good. Yeah, but don't touch it. If you, yeah, don't bump the camera. It, again, it wrecks that. It. it <laughs> it's bad. Don't it looks it. good, but it's not it's good. It's not good. It Dominic has hooks. Said, manipulates. It, that's right. And like I said, we can totally live in a sin-free existence and enter into divine health, like in the garden before sin made us sick and controlled. Amen. Yeah, that's right. We got to rule it. Don't let it rule you. <clears throat> the only way you can rule it is through the power of the Holy Spirit. That's right. It's through, it's through uh, receiving what Jesus Christ has done through us and by faith activating it, what he has done on Calvary. So Good word, activate. Yeah, well, I, I'm trying to explain, Lou. It's a really good know? Christian word. You know, people it? like that word. Do they? Activate. Spell it with an eight too. So um, we talk about this, we're in the dispensation of grace. Yes, we are. You know, where God is not counting our trespasses against us. He can Pouring out his wrath. That's right. There's going to come a time where God deals with sin, the sin of the world and of nations. But mm. that time's not yet. No. We're in a dispensation where, where God is... Looking for man to repent That's and right. turn to him. It's given a window of time. It's a window of opportunity, a golden window. Mm. And the life opportunity of lifetime is only available for the lifetime of the opportunity. We don't know how long that is because, you know, sometimes people get taken out That's physically. Right. They, they, they're they gone. They're, yeah. We saw someone that we, we, we were just listening. We just saw them like... Two years ago, and they passed away, and it's like, what? what? Really? Why? So, hey, for one thing, so it's a pretty important not to just try and think, well, I'll get ready. You can't get ready. You, you need be ready. to live ready. Yeah. Be ready. That's live the, that's right. being ready. You, the ten, the five foolish virgins. Yeah. Five wise, five foolish. They didn't know when he was coming back. It's just like us. They didn't know when he was coming back. So you got to be ready. That's right. That's go, the, oh, that's the way to live. When Jesus comes back or when I die or just before on my deathbed, he could come literally any time. That's right. <coughs> 2 Corinthians 5.19 says, That, what? 
That is, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word word of reconciliation. That's right. Your writing is really hard to read. (laughs) You could have read it from the Bible. but I would have to look it up. You weren't prepared. No, I wasn't. (laughs) I'm just putting the toilet to bed. Yeah. You were supposed to get to bed. So, you know, a a truth, though, is that it really looks as though Mm. some sins you quickly recover from. Mm. Some sins takes a long time. You slowly recover. Mm. Some sins in this life you never recover from. You, in the natural. That's right. God, can, you could still make heaven right. with that third category, but you're, it's destiny altered. Right. And destiny altered. That's a good way to put it. I, I think so. And I don't, I don't know how much of a guarantee. And that's why you need to live ready. So a sin that you quickly recover from is kicking the cat. Is know. that a sin? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. According to the RSPCA, like it's probably a jailable <laughs> offence. RSPCA, I'm you know. not my moral compass. No, okay. So there, there's things that you... I wouldn't really kick a You cat. stumble. Spiral. The righteous man, though he stumbles, you know, seven times the Lord upholds him with right. his hand. Like he will not fall. He'll not be utterly cast down. You can quickly recover. You can quickly repent and turn to God and go, Lord, I'm sorry. Right. Now... Sin that you slowly recover from. You, you had an interesting example, which was like Abraham taking... Yeah, I, I don't know if it's an example. I suppose uh, it's a hypothesis. Mm. It is. Like, um, Tom's because, laughing. Must yeah. be a delay. It's, it's nothing because I was talking about the we... cat. Kicking the cat. <laughs> <laughs> like cats. Yeah, right. April, yeah, look, kick cat. He's yeah, the nice, emoji. Nice. Mo- emoji top wins. Marks. Top marks, Gee. Tom. I tell you. <laughs> Phenomenal. Send out some gold stars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, that's because well, I do. I think about that with Abraham. It's like everyone talks about the wait. Abraham had to wait and wait and wait and wait. And we know that's true. He had to wait for the sun to come. Right, right. But why did he have to wait so long? And it's a hypothesis. So I would like to look into it it's, further. It is but, I, but I postulate. Is that the right, is that the right God word? God said to Abraham, leave, leave your, your family. family. Leave your family. And he done take his family with him. He took Lot. Yeah, that's right. He went with Lot. And so I said, leave your family, and he didn't. And the Lord didn't speak to him again until, <coughs> until Lot he separated. Lot and him went it's, their separate it's ways. It's very interesting. And, that, and then as soon as Lot left, he hmm. took Abraham out, showed him the stars, and then he, they had Isaac not long after. Right. Interesting. God, God is not slow in keeping his promises. The Bible says that. He is so the problem patient was not for our on sake, God's end. Mm. Not wanting any to perish, That's but right. all to come to a repentance. That's All right. to come to a knowledge of the <laughs> truth. That's right. So some, and you, you, we kind of know this, like we know this instinctively. Some things take a while to recover. Um, right. And then there's this like category. A, yeah, sorry. Well, we could. No, well, I was just know. thinking about it, like slowly recover. You know, like if you, oh, I'm going to go climb that thing and you fall off it, you break your leg. That takes like six weeks, 12 weeks to go rehab, stuff like that. Right. To, yeah. That's a mistake. You yeah. recover, but it takes time. Yeah. And then there's this third category, which most, um, most Christians which many Christians at the re- mouth if you talk refuse about. to believe this exists because, you know, Jesus has forgiven us of our sins, you know, and that's, that's true. true. And, and I maintain. People get a second chance at life. Absolutely. That's right. We believe in that. And, and even backsliding, all the rest of it, people can come yeah. to Christ and be saved. Exactly. You're not saying that there's no forgiveness. No. That's, that's the disclaimer is right. the mistakes that you don't recover from, it's not saying you'll never be forgiven. That's not what we're saying. Mm. You can be forgiven. There is forgiveness. But right. there, in this life, in the natural, yeah. there are some mistakes that will disqualify you. Right. So, so we can go non-biblical or biblical examples. Which one do you want first? Uh, anyway, there's too much of a delay. Not, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But um, <clears throat> biblical example, okay. Um, we heard you. Moses. 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 He uh, had some anger issues, which you Did. know happened. And then he, one time, the Lord said, "You know, speak to the rock," and he struck the rock in anger. Mm-hmm. And he did that for the last time, and that kept him out of the promised land. Yeah. He it didn't was matter able, how sorry he was. Yeah. It, it, that kept him out of the promised land. Yeah. 
Um, that's something that he, he never recovered from, right. really. It was a destiny-altering. That's right, destiny-altering, because he was still taken to heaven. Yeah, he is God still, still a great received man him. of God. Yep. And, yeah, uh, there's, um, you can look at King Saul as well, his yeah. life. You, could, you can look at, um, so in 1 Samuel 15, mm-hmm. you can look at when he, you know, the spirit of the Lord left him. That's a rough example. Um, as, that's right. Well, you he can did, look at King so David. You can look at King David even. Yeah, in a there's sense, a mistake because... he didn't recover from. You're not elaborating enough on Saul. No, okay. But we'll skip him. We'll go straight to David because King David, you know, adultery with Bathsheba. Mm-hmm. He, I, I don't know. I think that he could have recovered possibly slowly from that sin, but then he it if went he hadn't further. hadn't gone further and yeah. sinned further in it. Yeah, and then went it went and led to murder of Uriah the yeah. Hittite. Put him on the front lines to be killed, carved it up. You know, we talked about these four stages that I saw, I desired, and then I took, and then I hid. And mm-hmm. David was mega into the fourth stage of hiding and covering yeah. up his sin. And just like, oh man, I never like Make it full go away. on ensnared by the deceitfulness of sin right. and sad, man. I, I like, I can totally, you can see it. You can see it happening. Mm. Um, and so, after that, um, he had it in his heart to build the Lord a temple, but the Lord said, "You have too much blood on your hands. Yeah. It's not for you to do this." It, it'll be for your son to do, but right. not for you to do. No, he couldn't do it. And it's pretty interesting. I wonder, had, hey, Lizzie, I hey. wonder, had perhaps, you know, it not gone to murder, he may have all, yeah, he may have still been it? able to build the Lord a house. It, that could have been one that was destiny altering. How are you? We are good. Very good. And there was the baby included. The baby, the baby, even though. Because there was King a chance David, for him to repent again. Yeah. Or like, he, yeah, that's even tricky. Like because the, the baby like there was a, Yeah, there was a yeah. chance right there and he passed that judgment. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, then that's that was right. a mistake that he didn't recover from. He, didn't, he lost he his didn't son. Recover. That's right. Oh, thanks, Lizzie. She did put lipstick on and like I've got a looked big at split. the screen. I've got a big split in my lip, so to cover it, it It's up. on very thick. Oh, it's like slapped <laughs> off. Not really. <laughs> that's right. Um, Ananias and Sapphira. Yeah, well, say, hang on, whoa, whoa. That's whoa. one they didn't recover from. Matt, you've, you've gone too far. You've skipped well, Saul. Okay. I, I don't know yeah, why well, you have skipped Saul. No, no, I'm skipping Saul. <laughs> well, well, how about some, one. How about some non-biblical examples? Is, um, you know, like a minister of the gospel falls into adultery. Mm. And then you can see that even when sometimes the wife receives the guy back or... Yeah, like there's... They're reconciled. They, they, they get reconciled. There. They get forgiven. Their ministry takes oh, a tanks. hit. It tanks. And they then lose everything. It, it never, I've never <laughs> seen it get back to where it even was, yeah. let alone the trajectory of where it was going. Right. So that, to me, is, is one that, yeah, that you, you, like, you don't, you don't really recover, recover from, even though it's there pretty, is forgiveness and, like, yeah, you make heaven. Yeah, it, it, it was different from then on out. But you know why? Why? Why are you being so negative tonight? What did? Bo- no, no, he didn't. It's no, just no, the no. wind, it's, it's the weather, wind burn. <laughs> oh, yeah, he boy. did whack me under the table earlier. Just a tap. <laughs> hey, Clarissa. Clarissa. Um, no, you're right. And I interrupted you when you were talking about Ananias and Sapphira because that's like you. You being so negative, and also we've given Old Testament examples. Right, New Testament example. Ananias, Ananias and, and Sapphira. Sapphira held back some of the offering, Dead. lied to the Holy Spirit. And boom, that's boom. it. They didn't recover. Yeah, and one at a time. Like, My goodness. Anna, Anna, wait, I can't remember which one. Yeah, Ananias so, is the boy, right? Came in, died, then Sapphira came in. Sapphira, Sapphire. Yeah, she's anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I yeah. actually don't know. Yeah, yeah but they I came in so. one at a time. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, there was time for stuff to cool down even, but it was still the same consequence. Right. So... Why are you being so rough tonight? What? Talking about all this stuff. Well, there actually is a reason. Is because, you know, it it puts when you hear that the way that it is, mm. it makes me at least go far out. Don't make a big mistake. <laughs> I never want to go Not into anymore. that category. And yeah. so you have 
a healthy fear of God、mm. and you have a healthy respect and awareness. That、mm. sin is crouching at the door.、Yeah. It desires to have you,、mm-hmm. and it wants to rule over you and、mm. make your life hell,、right. and take you to hell. Yeah, yeah well, it's a sin game. Don't let it do that. Yeah, don't. <laughs> it's it's true, but it it does. It really does put that. Oh my goodness, I am going to keep a close watch. I'm quoting scripture here. Paul said. Keep a cl- I keep a close watch on how I live,、yeah. lest after having preached to others, I myself might be a castaway. That's right. So even the Apostle Paul, that wrote a large chunk of the New Testament,、yeah. ha- still was careful and kept a close watch、mm. on how he lived. Yeah. So that that's a huge deal. You think,、yeah. well, Shivers can't? Didn't he arrive nearly? You know, it's yeah, like no, no, he did he not trust. He was aware. That there was something crouching at the door that wanted to, wanted to make his life hell. That's right. Yeah, it it helps being aware、That's、of that,、right. and to、does. not just put your guard down and just, oh well, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. And then the opposite is having a light regard for it, being like, well, who knows that? Yeah, we all we all sin every day, really, and just like shivers, do we? Watch the we part, yeah, like go.、Me. Well, I don't want to. No, I don't sin every day. A, a hatred. For sin, it's like if you talk about it and think about it like some that it's a light thing, then it will be a light thing to you. Yeah, but or that it's or you're expecting it like it's going to happen. If there was a literal crouching tiger at the door, I wouldn't yeah, treat it like、out. a light thing. You'd watch out. Watch. Do you know when you were saying that about? I'd、um, watch out. I'd carry some sort of、uh, big baseball bat with me, or a stick, or. I don't know. What do you think is the ideal weapon for a crouching tiger at the door? Put it in the comments. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry. You wanted to talk, say I something. I did want to say something. Half an hour ago. Yeah.、Um, so when you were talking about that, it puts it in you, like that fear of God in you, or that, like, oh my gosh, like I need to watch myself. Yeah. Then、um, it's actually putting the onus back on you, and you're supposed to have it back on you. You know, like it's that it's that victim mentality, it's that ridiculous. Well, it's not my fault type thing. But sin is actually your responsibility to be in control of.、Mm. You're like, you know, that that whole well, who knows? We sin every day, and you know, it's thank God for grace and all the rest of it is lazy.、Mm. Like if you rip it down to the, I mean, you know, crucify me if that, I remember that one. I don't know, but like if you rip it down to the base brass tacks of it. You, the Bible says you're supposed to be its master. Right. If you don't master it, it will master you. That's right. So if you're like, well, I'm just a sinner and I'm just going to sin, so I'm not even going to try. Yeah. It's a it's different、lazy. identity. You were a you sinner. You were a sinner, and, and then you got、yeah. saved by grace. That's right. Once you're aware you're saved, of it, you don't need to sin、yeah. anymore. Because it, what does a sinner do? He sins. sins. What does a saint do? Saint. He saints. <laughs> <laughs> He、Good、sails.、Words. Saint, I don't know, do, but it doesn't sin. No, you know it. It's not our identity anymore. Once we have been yeah. redeemed, yeah, so you we've been sit in set、it. free、mm. from sin. We've been made free、mm. from sin,、right. and here the Son makes free. It's free indeed. It's free indeed. That's right. You don't need to ensnare yourself to it anymore.、Mm. That's good news. Yeah, it's good very news. good news. That's right. But you know, so I, I wonder if people. People watch. They go, "Oh well, shivers." You know, I might have made destiny-altering sins and hanging their heads in shame, that kind of thing. Look, none of that actually matters、mm. because from here, yeah, from because here. doesn't matter. Yeah, go Philippians three thirteen because you know, and you look at the life of the Apostle Paul, who was there approving at the death of Stephen. A great man of God, and he he made some huge mistakes. Didn't he? He、what? persecuted the church of God. He considered himself worse than everyone else because he was actively working against what God was doing on the earth. So, what is? Brethren, I do not count myself to having apprehended, but one thing I do: forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. That's right. That is what. That's how. 
move on. That's exactly right. So we like, have to have that mentality. Yeah, even if it is that it's destiny altering and then you have made this massive mistake that you don't in the natural think that is going to be any recovery from. Yeah. You still you still repent and you still ask for forgiveness and you still are received by God. He doesn't reject you. He right. still receives you and says, "Yes, I forgive you. Come, you're part of my family. Mm. You 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 make it. You you will be able to go to heaven and then you have to um, like if you're disqualified from, yeah, if you, you know, a lot of the time you won't even know it. Right. A lot of the time you won't know it. So sometimes you might know, oh, okay, dang, that's that's really changed some things, and I'm gonna have to deal with that. Like, I don't know, lost your license, and you can't you can't drive anymore. Like that's like a short term one, I suppose. But like, you have made this thing, and it's you're gonna have to deal with that. It's changed your life, but there's still forgiveness and reconciliation to God. And that's the most important thing. Absolutely. Because goal one is to is make, to make heaven. heaven. That's right. And so it's actually the same regardless of where anyone is at now and regardless of the past. Yeah. If you have making heaven your home as your absolute number one priority, yeah. then you will go from where you are mm-hmm. to forgetting what's behind and you'll press on. That's right. To lay a hold of that for which Christ Jesus has made available for us. That's and right. ultimately, that is that is calling you heavenward. That yeah. is calling you towards heaven. That is calling you to eternal life. Yeah, that's right. So that that's the place where everyone is moving. Everyone that's a believer is moving towards that place mm. or should be. Mm. And if you're not, then you're moving in the opposite direction. You're moving away from it. Yeah, yeah it's it's wild. I'm I'm moving in that direction. I right. want to constantly be forgetting what's behind and going from here, going yeah. from here. And you know, God's so good like that. He He is an the Spirit of God is an encourager. Right. That's one of the names of the Holy Spirit is He's an encourager, and He always He's not bringing up the past and trying mm. to ah oh, no that's it yeah, that's right. like he. It's finished. If there's a way forward, He's calling you forward. That's right. And and that is. That is so good. It's good to be on the winning side. Mm, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's so right. that's right. Brass tacks takeaway. Oh, <clears throat> that's right. You don't have to now be in. Oh no, I've missed it. Exactly. You can still that, be in right relationship with God. That's um. That's guilt and that guilt mm. is fine, but there's a it? worldly sorrow. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That leads to death. And there's a godly sorrow that leads to repentance. Mm-hmm. The Bible talks about there's two different types of sorrow. You know, worldly sorrow, leads it leads to just condemnation. Yeah. And condemnation doesn't take you anywhere. It takes you into depression. Yeah. It takes you away from God. Right. But, but godly sorrow is, oh, no, God, I'm sorry. And then you rely and on then his mercy. And then I receive your forgiveness. Now, I believe that because Jesus died on the cross for my sin, and that includes that, then I can be forgiven. I'm forgiven right now. Yeah. And he rose from the dead so that I can live a new life in that resurrection life that he's made available for me. Mm. When he died, I died with him. My sin died with him, was put to death. Yeah. And now I'm free from that. And so you can live like that, the, the godly sorrow. Mm leads leads to life yeah leads forward that's right so don't don't be beating yourself up now nope <laughs> go <coughs> make heaven oh your home it's better <clears throat> it's going to be a better place <laughs> that's true definitely yeah 100 percent. yeah yeah he that's still right. christ still paid for your sins so still accept him as your savior and don't well i've missed it and that's it i'm not going to try anymore that's, that's right. That's the trap. And, so. and from where you are, you have to have a resolute decision always to go, you know what? I've decided to follow Jesus. Mm. No turning back. That's right. No and turning God back. God will open doors for you that that are different. I believe that. You know, like you will, he will use you. He will still use you. That's right. And you will reach people in other circles. Yeah. He is the master at redeeming. Yeah. He will take what was the devil's trophy and make it a trophy of God. 
Amen. So wherever you're at, he will he can turn things around. Mm. Things that look impossible to turn around. With man these this is not possible, but with God all things are possible, the Bible says. So he can turn it around. He can yeah. turn it around. Yeah. Hope we've made our point clear. Yeah. Is that clear enough? <laughs> sin's, sin's crouching at the door. Wants yeah, watch to, out. Wants to kill sin's you. Sin's crouching at the door. There were sure, real consequences good. for those it's sins. not good. Watch out. That's right. But uh, Yeah, real consequences. Then, but hey, from here. forgiveness. Yeah. Ever upward. Never back. Ever forwards. Mm. Don't be in devil condemnation mode that leads you to a dead end road and depression. Forget that. Mm. Repent and believe by faith. Jesus has made me free from that. Mm. I'm going to have joy. Now, I'm going to have joy. It's Pentecost Sunday. Then what other time would you be joyful than on Pentecost Sunday? Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Right. Hey, that's not just for Christmas. No, that's for always. That's for now. That's for now. It's Christmas. No. In it's not. June. It's not June, it's May. May. It's May. It's Christmas in May. It's raving lunatic. <laughs> this is what happens when we start. <laughs> I know, that's right. I'm like, <laughs> and like, on my eyeballs. <laughs> oh. All no, right. It's all right. We just, we just, it's a little out of routine. It's fine. It's actually a good thing. That's what they say. <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> Love you, Lizzie. Nat, do yeah. Thanks for sticking in the whole way through. Lisa, if you're watching there with um, Nat, you're up too late. Elisa, Elisa, you. Uh, <laughs> Emmanuel's not up, is he? My goodness. Anyway, all right. Good night. <laughs>